Hello, my witchlets, and welcome back to another episode of Coventry Kitchen. This time we are going to talk about Yule and Yule decorations and things like that. I have some deco that I would like to show you, and uh, I will show you how I set up my altar for you all. So, back in two shakes. All right, so we're going to start here with the table. Um, this is my centerpiece here for you. It is three candles on something that is supposed to resemble a Yule log, but it in fact does not. Um, but that's okay. It's still cool. I like it. When I was growing up, we had a 70s version of it, which was like this plastic log that had three places to put in candles. Well, actually, you didn't actually put the candles in. They were all attached. And it was, you plugged it in and you just clicked the little light switch and it came on and it was great and I loved it, but um, I wanted a, 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 a bit more upscale version. So my candles are uh, controlled by a remote control, which you can see right there. And um, yeah, so I've got those three and then we're gonna go over to the altar. Hopefully I can get to it, might have to move some boxes but I will show you how I decorate that. All right, welcome to my kind of corner of my house here. Um, this is actually pretty much right in, not in the entryway, but right off of the entryway, which is right over there. Front door, come around, altar. So uh, I store everything in here because this is kind of like a secret hidey hole. So um, I store all of my altar stuff in here, um, conveniently next to the altar. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're going to take out the altar cloth that I use for Yule. It is white and silver, uh, which are two of the colors in the correspondences for the, for the Yule Sabbat. So, Obviously, I need to clear my sewing things and um, get set up. Now, it's a smidge early to be setting up for Yule, but um, it's okay because I'm going to be out of town soon for a couple of weeks, and I'm not going to be here in Oregon for Yule this year. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put down my altar cloth and then I'm using a mirror, a circular mirror as my base for the main part of my altar. And that's because it is reminiscent of like an iced over lake that um, you know reflects the sun's light. It made sense to me. So these are my God and Goddess candles. Somebody gave me these lovely candle holders. Thank you, Gislaine, over at Aloha TV. TV. I don't know. They're on YouTube. Aloha TV. Check them out. Um, my very favorite center candle. And uh, then I just use a sand dollar for water, the clear crystal, uh, clear quartz for earth. It is also a correspondence for Yule. Another candle for fire in the south. And then I have an incense tray here that I will use for um, air, to represent air. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because I have large things for Yule that I don't have for other seasons, like my Yule tree. We will set him right here. These are gonna go away. These are not permanent. These are from the former owner 
Um, and then I also have, Yule takes up most of my box for my decorations. Everything is stuck in here. Oh yes, I got those. All right, so I have, um, no, you're gonna stop. I have my decorative piece that's going to somehow fit on the front here. I do this every year. You would think that I would remember how large things are and make adjustments accordingly, but do I? All right, so this is gonna go here in the front like that. And then these lights get wrapped around and through and these are on a battery pack. So I probably need to change the batteries in them. I do indeed need to change the batteries in them. So I will be changing the batteries before I put these up. But basically these are going to get strung around the, um, the tree, the piece here, and um, maybe even along the sides of the, um, of the altar. But I definitely need to hang my bells, my silver bells. And I need to see if my witch's bells are in this box or not. And if not, um, I need to make another set, I suppose, of witches' bells. I think they're in there, but we'll see. Anyway, so that's basically how I decorate my altar for Yule. And I have everything set up so that it's high enough that the cats won't get after it, um, which is also a good thing. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did or you didn't, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button or the thumbs down button. Leave me a comment either way. And if you wanna keep checking out what I'm doing as far as cooking or um, decorating for the sabbats, rituals, etc., go ahead and uh, subscribe to this channel and make sure to ring the notification bell so that you're notified when my videos upload. Um, it's usually only once per week. Uh, at this particular moment in time, there's a lot going on. So there you have it. Blessed you.